What did you make of Mahomes and Reed calling out the officiating like that? Oh, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I mean, you got to feel that way. I mean, even if you're just frustrated, you got to take it out on somebody. Last week, Patrick was like, hey, I, I don't mind that they let him play on that horrendous, you know, MVS DPI. Now, of course, I think also he knew that he he kind of sold that, that, uh, that, late hit that uh, late hit on the sideline right uh-huh so I, I i think he's in his head as a competitor he's like hey we got one they got one but this week you know it feels like they just got jobbed now i'll have i haven't said that i read carl cheffer's you know press transcript now although it's carl cheffer's and he's the guy who did the chris jones uh rough in the past or last year on monday night football he's the guy that has it out with travis kelsey and i think there's something there just the magnitude of Cheffers maybe keeping you from getting that one seed, like that really ticked them off. I think it maybe it was somebody else and they made that call. They'd be like, yeah, he's lined up over the football, you know, because on defense, when we were off sides, they give us a warning. But as I understand, these wide receivers customarily will go out and check, right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't check as far as I saw. And um, you do get a warning unless you're like completely over the ball. And now you have a D Ford situation again just not in the playoffs. I mean, this one's going to be remembered for a long time. So, I mean, yeah, Cheffer's saying if it was an egregious alignment to where he was over the ball, whether he had warnings or not, it would still be a foul. And and so this was a, viewed as an egregious violation. Totally get that. But he said, you know, that the – I guess they couldn't give him a heads up because he was hiding the football. He was so damn off sides. It's just – but but again, it's just yeah. it's just like – Again, as nobody said, would have noticed. Nobody a, would have noticed, Rich. No, I don't think anybody would have noticed. But as I said at the beginning of the show, just to be straight up, you know, is this a penalty? Absolutely. Could they have gone without calling it? Absolutely. Is that the yes. way that the 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 Chiefs won the Super Bowl last year? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it's the same. It's the this same one's a little more of a conversation. This, this one's a little more egregious than the the hold in the Super Bowl you think last so? year. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's lined up literally over the ball. I mean, this has been called 11 times this year. Defensive holding gets called all the time. There's there's a chance that that happens when you put yourself in that position. You know, that wasn't like, the it wasn't a mugging, but, you know, he's using that player's body to catapult himself a little bit. I know some people disagree with me. I'm not going to be the guy that says the Eagles lost the Super Bowl because of that call. If anything, I'd get on the side of the Eagles lost the Super Bowl because that turf sucked, right? And take away your one advantage. But... I totally get when you put yourself in that position as Kadarius Tony, and you should be more careful than that with your history. You line up over the ball like that, and you can't even see the ball. Like I, I feel like he was pretty square about that. Yeah, I'd give him a warning if he wasn't like his full head in the neutral zone, and that's the problem. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 